for our entrance hymn we shall sing ring out your joy ring out your joy give glory to god lift up your hearts and sing let all creation tell of his name praise him forevermore blessed are you god of our fathers glory and praise forevermore blessed your great and glorious holy name glory and praise forevermore ring out your joy give glory to god lift up your hearts and sing let all creation tell of his name praise him forevermore mass intentions thanksgiving masses offered by ivan perera pension family angela fernandez and a parishioner for favors received for the intentions of Anna Pereira on her 70th birthday second death anniversary of Godfrey Rodriguez for the souls of Vanita Vaz Jacob Augustin and Agnes de Souza Joe Dias Rudolf and Olive de Silva Miriam Lazar Tanika Cyrilla and Elias Pereira Francis X de Souza Cecilia Fernandez Mary Rafael Romana Gonzalez Victor de Souza Mr Berger Vadia Charles and Doris de Souza Mr Casey Joy Smita Xavier Miranda Father Stan Swami Simon Delis Sira Nunes For the departed members of William Lobo and Andrew de Souza and family and Francis Patrao and Fernandez family and for the souls in purgatory In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and dear brothers. Today the church celebrates the memory of Saints Joachim and Anne. In the gospels of Matthew and Luke we hear about the genealogy of jesus but we know it is all about joseph and hardly anything we hear about the parents of mary from the tradition we come to know that joachim and ann were her parents even though we know nothing about them but looking at the life of mary we can gauge the character of joachim and ann Mary's fervent faith her steadfastness her perseverance in times of difficulties the way she kept the law of Moses the way she reached out to her neighbors all indication of the kind of parents that she had today as we celebrate the memorial of saints Joachim and Anne let us pray for the parishes which celebrate this today as their feast day we also celebrate uh, pray for the institutions and especially the congregations which have either saint joachim or saint anne as their patroness that god may continue to shower his blessings on them through these saints and may they continue to experience god's love in their lives acknowledging our failures let us ask pardon You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses turned and went down from the mountain with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, tablets that were written on both sides, on the front and on the back they were written. The tablets were the work of God and the writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But Moses, he said, It is not the sound of shouting for victory, or the sound of the cry of defeat, but the sound of singing that I hear. And as soon as he came near the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, Moses' anger burned hot, and he threw the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made and burnt it with fire, and ground it to powder and scattered it on the water, and made the people of Israel drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you? that you have brought such a great sin upon them? And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord burn hot. You know the people, that they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So I said to them, Let any who have any gold take it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. The next day Moses said to the people, You have sinned a great deal, and now I will go up to the Lord. Perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. So Moses returned to the Lord and said, Alas, this people has sinned a great sin. They have made for themselves gods of gold. But now, if you will forgive their sin, but if not, please blot me out of your book that you have written. But the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out of my book. But now go, lead the people to the place about which I have spoken to you. Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response to the psalm will be, O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal. They exchanged their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. They forgot the God who was their saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt, such wonders in the land of Ham, 
such marvels at the Red Sea. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For this he said he would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. All kindly rise for a gospel acclamation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Of his own will he brought us out by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophets. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and dear brothers, we hear sometimes parents pouring out their pain and their frustrations. They say, my children don't listen to me anymore. They are all the time on their mobiles. They don't join us for our family prayer. They don't participate in the Eucharist. Some even say, my children are now onto drugs. They are taking drinks. And there are some parents who say, my son or my daughter is living a very scandalous life. And then they ask, what went wrong? What wrong did we do? Where did we fail? In today's first reading, Moses is in a similar situation. Just then the covenant has been made with God, between God and his people Israel. And Moses has gone to God to commune with God and as he comes down with the tablets, he sees that the people have reverted back to paganism. He is very angry, he is frustrated and he throws those tablets. Yes, this is the frustration that all parents go through when children stray from the right path. Also, it shows us that sin is nearer than we think it is. All of us are in a very or on a very slippery ground. Anytime we can slip and fall, and therefore we need to be always on our guard. But there is another important lesson we learn from Moses. We find him turning his frustration into intercession. 
he begins to be an intercessor he begins to plead for his own people therefore like moses a good parent we each of us is called to be a good parent to turn our frustrations into intercessions therefore dear sisters send your brothers during this eucharist let us pray for our own family members for our own children and for all those who have pained us by straying away let us pray that through our intercession they might once again be brought back into the family amen for our offertory hymn we shall sing in bread we bring in bread we bring you lord our bodies labor in wine we offer you our spirits grieve we do not ask you lord who is my neighbor but stand you united now one in belief for we have gladly heard your word your holy word and now in answer lord our gifts we bring our selfish hearts make true our failing faith renew our lives belong to you our lord and king pray my sisters and brothers that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church receive we pray o lord these offerings of our homage and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to abraham and his descendants through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy they for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope oswald our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles with saints joachim and anne and all the other saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ to set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am unworthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. never permit me to be separated from you amen let us pray o god o willed that your only begotten son 
should be born from among humanity so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you we pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give to your children through Christ our lord amen prayer in times of corona virus mother of perpetual help with the greatest confidence we come before your picture to beseech your intercession we think of you mother at the foot of the cross your heart must have bled to see your son in agony but your joy was great when he rose from the dead victorious over the powers of evil mother of sorrows pray for us in this time of trial help us not to lose heart intercede for your people who are afflicted with corona virus comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk inspire our leaders to make good decisions change our hearts so that we may act responsibly teach us to trust in god's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life amen mother of perpetual help pray, pray for, for us. us the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks be to god for our sessional hymn we shall sing daily daily sing to mary daily daily sing to mary sing my soul her praises due all her feasts her actions worship with the heart's devotion true lost in wandering contemplation be her majesty confessed call her mother call her virgin happy mother virgin blessed